Hey everybody, it's me Megs and this is my updated foundation routine. It's slightly different with some different products and I wanted a more warmer look so I finally somewhat was able to achieve that. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this tutorial to show you guys how I do my foundation currently. I know it's subject to change in the next coming months. But the next thing I use is my MAC Green Gel Cleanser to wash my face with as always. And then I use my Proactive Green Tea Moisturizer. And I'm going to only use a small amount of this, maybe like a pea size. And I'm going to apply this moisturizer all over my face. Um, and it works really well, makes my skin super soft, and it's my favorite. So I'm going to use my MAC, um, what is this comb? This is called lip conditioner, <laughs> and I always put this on first before I get started. As my primer for my foundation to make my foundation last all day and grease free, I use Philips Milk of Magnesia. So I'll apply this all over my face with a disposable wedge. Make sure you don't get it on your bonnet, girl, though. I got a little messy. But I apply it all over my face just to, you know, help my foundation stay. And I'm going to fan my face just a little bit, just let it dry, and it's going to dry white like that. So I'm going to put on my MAC foundation, which is the Studio Fix Fluid in NC50. And I'm going to apply it on the back of my hand. Not too much, though, just a nice, you know, amount, you know, good for me. This is full coverage, so I don't need to, you know, overdo it. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to put this on the back of my hand to warm up the product, just because it glides on a lot better. But I am going to use my MAC Fix Plus on a... um. A flat top foundation brush. This is a Sedona lace brush, and I like to wet my brush first before I, um, you know, get started with my foundation, just because it just glides on so much better. So I'm gonna dab a little bit of that on my brush, and then dab and stipple it onto my face, just to um, get the product on my face, and then I buff it out. So I'm just gonna buff it out. And it kind of goes on really, really well after it's, you know, warmed up on the back of my hand. It just glides on effortlessly and, you know, blends in perfect. So, yeah, it took a long time for me to figure out how to use Studio Fix Fluid to my liking. I'm sure it'll change in the next coming months, but <laughs> I'm going to just go ahead and, you know, blend that in and work that on in in my skin. So it's full coverage, so it pretty much covers everything for me personally. I don't have a lot of blemishes or scarring or anything, so this just wipes everything out all in one kind of like punch, and I'm done. So I'm going to just make sure that everything is hit in those areas as far as covering up anything or, you know, just to get that even, nice, flawless finish that I am going for. Now I'm going to take my LA Girl HD Pro Concealer, and this color is in Fawn. I love this stuff. It's my new favorite. I've been using this for a couple of months now. It's a very thin consistency. It's not too thick, and it blends in like wonderful. So I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes um, for my highlight. So we're highlighting now, obviously, in the middle of my nose for my highlight, my chin, and my cupid's bow, just to bring some dimension to my face. <laughs> and now I feel very tribal. <laughs> so I'm going to take my beauty blender. I apologize for it being, you know, quite dirty. So I'm going to spray my beauty blender with Fix Plus just to get the beauty blender kind of moist, just to help it, you know, blend and uh, move the product around on my face. So the product is warmed up on my face already. I kind of let it sit before I start blending it out. So uh, as you can see, it just blends in really, really nice. It's not too, too bright. I'm not really into like super bright highlights. You know, girl, oh my goodness. It just doesn't look right. So I'm trying to figure out, you know, a routine that works for me. So currently right now, this works really well for me. So um, I'm just blending out everything as best as I can. This is like very important to make sure that, you know, the highlight is blended out so it won't look too, too harsh. I'm still learning, so I just noticed that as I learn more, um, as time goes on, I get a different routine and get more, you know, knowledge about how to use different makeup. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So, underneath my eyes, I want to make sure I blend out everything underneath my eyes just to make sure that I don't have any creasing. And it appears pretty blended to me, you know, girl. <laughs> so now I'm going to contour. I'm going to use AJ Crimson's Cream Foundation, and this is a number six. And I absolutely love this cream foundation because of the color. 
The color is very warm and rich, so I'm going to apply this to my, um, the contour to my cheekbones to make those pop a little bit because I have a round, more round face without too much dimension, especially since I put the, um, the foundation on and just kind of like flattened out my face. So to bring those features back, contour. And then I'm going to take my Fix Plus and Beauty Blender again with that and just blend out everything again to the best of my ability. You know, I want to make sure that's blended and not too, too harsh right there. So I absolutely love my Beauty Blender. I kind of use it, you know, for everything. As you notice, I'm using the other end of the Beauty Blender, not the side I use to highlight with because I just wouldn't look right. So you want to make sure you turn it over and use the clean side. So now I'm going to contour the top of my hairline. I don't really need to contour, but I just really love and enjoy the really warm look that this AJ Crimson Cream Foundation gives my face. It just warms it back up, a nice, really nice, you know, like, glow. You know, I, I just really love that warm look, and that's something that I've been looking to achieve for a very long time, so I'm kind of happy that I'm somewhat getting to the look that I want. It's just, you know, it takes time and practice and learning different techniques and things. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose using the AJ Crimson Cream Foundation as well, and um, I really take my time with this. The nose has been a struggle for me because you could really mess up your contour with your nose if you don't blend correctly. So I'm still learning that as well. It takes time and practice to get, you know, a routine and technique that works for you. So, so far this works pretty decent. So I'm just going to blend that down. I'm actually using a synthetic haired brush. It's an angled brush for my nose. And I took it up into my eyebrows and I blended it into my eyebrows and then take it down my nose. So as you can see there, I'm just making sure that it's blended as much as possible. And I'm taking it like all the way on the sides of my nose and into my brow. And make sure I blend it out with my fingers just to, you know, get those lines as soft as possible. You know, because you don't want it to look like, girl, what happened? <laughs> now I'm using Ben Nye powders. One of them is Topaz, which is the one on the right hand side, and the other was Banana, and I mix those two together, right? So I, then I'm going to pat it in my highlighted areas with a wedge, a disposable wedge. And I'm not using too much of this because you can have a real big fail with this, especially if you're a chocolate girl like me. You can't use too much of this. And I learned this through failed photos in the past. Like, girl, what happened to my face? <laughs> So I use very a very small amount of this and I press it into my face just to set my highlighted areas and as you can tell it's really not too too much so um, just put that there and I'm going to let that set the cream I mean the uh, liquid uh, concealer that I used from uh, LA Girl which was the um, HD Pro Concealer so yeah I'm just going to pat that in there and set that area now, I did do my eyebrows. I have a tutorial on that that I'm editing right now. But after I do my eyebrows, I highlight my forehead using the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer, the same color, which was fine, and blend it out with my Beauty Blender, like so. So I do that after my brows. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted forehead with the Ben Nye powders that I just previously used beforehand. Now I'm going to lightly set... Um, my foundation. So this first color is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark and I'm using a very very small amount and this Mineralized Skin Finish really just adds a lot of color back into my face because you know with foundations and you know concealers it kind of looks a little bland so I really love the Mineralized Skin Finish because it has a glowy effect that it gives my skin. So I'm going to take this all around the perimeter of my face where I did not highlight my face. So like my cheeks, around my forehead, my nose, I'm going to set with that darker powder, which is actually my regular skin tone powder. But I want to put that in the areas that have not been highlighted. Now I'm taking Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark, which is lighter, and I'm going to lightly apply and brush away the excess um, Ben Nye powder. So it's like I'm applying powder, but then I'm brushing away the excess at the same time using very, very small amounts of powder at the same time. Not like using a gang of powder. See, it's like I've barely like touched it. So this also just helps blend everything together. 
um, and just creates a nice kind of smooth transition for my highlight to contours and all that. So now I'm going to set my contour around my forehead, which is the Iman powder. Um, I think that's called Earth Toned. I am not sure, but that name will be down in the description for you to check out. So I like to set my, um, my contours. And this powder just really warms up the perimeter of the face so it won't look so like bland. So I also put this in my contour of my cheeks and it just warms everything up beautifully. And it's my favorite and I bought this at Target, girl. You go to Target and get you some Iman and just use it. <laughs> so I'm um, just blending away, making sure that my contour isn't too hard. And, you know, if you notice that your contour is still a little too hard, you can just fix that with some powder. I think I already did that in this clip, did I? Yeah, okay, there I go. So just take, you know, your powder and just kind of soften up any lines that you feel are too harsh. And it, and it works wonderful like that. So now what I'm doing, I'm taking my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany Powder and I'm going to contour my nose. I like to use a different color, um, this color uh, powder on my nose because... I don't want to use it on my nose, the other powder I used on my nose, because it was a little too warm and too kind of like rich in the red tone, so I didn't want my nose to look like that. So, um, I'm just going to contour my nose, and I'm using like a, a blender brush for that. So, this is the final look of my face. This is my full foundation contour highlight routine. I do this before I do my eyeshadow and blush, lashes, and all that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those below, and I will answer that for you. As well, there will be a full product listing of everything I use in this video. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later.